Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Holy Chicken Wing here with some more cool team gaming League of Legends gameplay. Uh, so right now I'm on the PBE. Um, this is during 5.9, so this is before Echo has been released. So I'm going to be playing him today. Um, he's going to be released in 5. Point, patch 5.10. Um, so right now I'm using uh, his skin. Uh, it's going to be Sandstorm Echo. Um, so I'm really excited for him to come out. I'm definitely going to buy him right when he comes out. But uh, I'm even more excited to play him right now. I actually have no idea how to play him, nor do I have any idea how to build him. So I'm just going to go off the recommended for now. I'm going to head mid, actually, because I'm kind of assuming that's where he's supposed to go, either mid or top, but he has AP. Um, so if you don't know, Echo is supposed to be an, like an AP assassin. Uh, so I'm going to read off his skills, um, since many of you may not know all of his skills. Uh, yet. So his passive, every third, this is Z drive resonance, every third attack or damage spell on the same target deals 70 f or 27 plus 24, which is a little bit less than uh, 1.0 AP scaling. Bonus magic damage and slows for 40%. For two seconds cannot be triggered on the same target more than once every three seconds. If the, sa if the target is a champion, Echo gains the speed for himself. His Q, Echo throws a device that deals 60 plus 7 magic damage to enemies it passes through. It expands into a slowing field on the first champion hit, slowing everything inside by 32%. It returns to him after a short after a delay, dealing 60 plus 20 magic damage to all targets of a hit. Luck. So, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and get that first. And I'll explain some of his other abilities as I get them. Actually, I'll go ahead and try to keep telling him. I'll just miss out on some farm here, I don't care. Um, so his W, he has a passive Echo's basic attack steal bonus damage to enemies under 30% health equal to 5 plus 1% of their missing health, max 400 damage versus minions and monsters, and then is active after a 3 second delay, that's a pretty long delay, Echo creates a short lived chronosphere at the target location that slows enemies who enter by 40%, if Echo enters the sphere it will, he will detonate, it gaining a shield that absorbs up to 150 plus 27 damage for 2 seconds, enemies caught Insider stunned for 2.25 seconds. And then his E, I'm going to get that next. His E, uh, Echo dashes a short distance in the target direction. His next attack will deal 50 plus 7 bonus damage and will teleport him to his target. And then his ult uh, makes Echo invulnerable and untargetable and teleports him back to wherever he was 4 seconds ago. Echo heals himself for 100 plus 20% plus 1. Of the damage taken over the f last 4 seconds and deals 200 plus 46 damage to all nearby enemies on arrival, which is that's even better than 1.0 AP scaling. So now that I have all the abilities, I'm going to go ahead and show you what they do. I've actually never used Echo before, so I'm learning him as much as anyone. And I just missed it. Okay, this is, this is his Q. And then it comes back. And remember, this is Sandstorm Echo. This is not what his default skin is going to look like. Also, wait. Okay, so his passive is, dan is spells and basic attacks. That's pretty awesome. Okay, now I'm going to show you this. This is going to be pretty awesome. So he does this, then that guy hits it. Then I'm going to dash in and do that. Okay, note, um, this is bot game if you didn't already notice. Uh, you probably did. But, um, main reason I'm doing bots instead of normal games is first of all, I don't know how to use Echo. So I'm sure I would get murdered. Second of all, um, everybody on the PB is gonna be playing him right now. So I would have pretty much no chance of getting him. Um, I would like, I'm actually, uh, speaking of the PB, I would like to, um, I don't even know why I'm maxing Q first, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be maxing. But speaking of the PB, um, the up uh, upcoming game mode uh, is Hexakill on Twisted Tree Line. Um, I'm going to be making a video of that shortly, uh, so watch out for that. I'll try to use Get Echo if I can, but I highly doubt I'll be able to, uh, because, um, you know, everybody wants to use it. Uh, also about the bots, uh, it's, it should be, you know, somewhat difficult for me to win this game because they have five intermediate bots and we have all beginner bots except for one. 
um, which is Zillion. I purposely made Zillion on our team because, you know, time, all that fun stuff. Okay, now, no, since I got my ult, this little shadow that's following me around, it doesn't actually do anything except show, oh crap, except show where I was a few seconds ago, so that's where I'm going to ult, um, you know, when I actually activate it. That Q is pretty cool. And it, you can get two stacks off just by no getting one Q. So let's see, let's see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to throw this out, and I'm going to throw this out, and I'm going to ult. And then I'm going to do that. Yeah. No. Oh well. Gotta test stuff out. Yet I want to really set it up as is I want to like go where Tristan is gonna be, then I want to walk away and then throw my W down and then alt back into my W stun, um, then throw out my Q, then E, and then just do as much damage as I can. One thing about Echo that they mentioned, he's not the burstiest, but he's good at whittling his opponents down. That's that's just according to what they've t talked about. I don't know that for sure. And I'm running low on mana here. Make me this is how we say hello. So yeah, a lot of basic attacks are involved with him. I think Lich Bane is definitely going to be his best item, because with that E. So I'm going to go ahead and get that first. Or at least start towards that. And then, I guess because Luden's Echo is recommended, I'll get that next. If there are limits, only because it's recommended, I actually don't know what, how good it is. And then I'll get a Rabadon and go from there. I'll go ahead and go bot, see if I can get a kill on Karthus, if Jin Zhao doesn't kill him or make it right away. I'll get a kill on somebody. Things aren't gonna improve themselves. Okay, here we go. Got him. Yeah, Echo's not actually as hard to use as I thought he would be, but he's still kind of tricky. We make the future. So I'm definitely going to max his E second. I don't know whether I should be maxing his Q first or his E first. I'm guessing his Q. Uh, definitely not his W though. Oh man, that does a lot. Okay, here we go. Ow. I'm really bad. Come on, come on. Oh man, I suck. I hate myself. I should have ignited her. I don't know why I didn't do that. Every rule needs a break. Eat it. And I can I can use his ult kinda like Zed's shadow would be. Where if I dive like that and then I can just ult back uh, to safety. That would obviously be only if I had to to save myself because you know it is your ult. Oh no! Don't hurt me. That didn't actually hurt very much. So I'm gonna actually go bot, even though I have low health. I'm gonna be super cocky, and I'm gonna say that I'm gonna kill both of them and not die. It's super risky, but I don't care. I, I'm gonna try to throw my W down so that I can get both of them.
Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't really know where my guy was anyways. Oh well, gotta learn somehow. All in. Just my style. I can see Ludin Zeko be pre being pretty good on him with his ult and his Q. Because he actually does have pretty decent poke. His Q, oh, I didn't realize that. His Q takes up a ton of mana by maxing it first. Yeah, keep that in mind. If you max his Q first, it is going to take a lot of mana. So blue buff is probably beneficial on him. Show me something new. And Tristan is really scared. Yeah, that's that's tough though. His W is not going to be super useful unless you're in a team fight where the team can't do anything about it. But it just has such a long delay. But yeah, you're definitely not going to be wanting to spam his Q unless you don't max it first because that, that takes up a lot of mana. In fact, I'm going to actually go for a blue here. You can jump over walls to people really well though because dash. Plus, even if you didn't make it over to the wall, you could actually technically jump to an enemy. Uh, because, you know, your, your range is much farther. Yeah, I really like Echo. I'm totally buying him. Oh. Well, whatever. That kind of hurt. Ow. He just got told. No, 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 no. Oh, man, that makes me mad. That makes me really mad. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that delay really hurts a lot. You know, I think I think spell vamp might be a little beneficial on him. I could see gunblade being decent actually, because he was quite basic attack based, um, and he doesn't. So you know, the life steal will be you know somewhat good, but then the uh, spell vamp, you know, he doesn't have any forms of regaining health yep. exactly or sustain. I so I could see gunblade being halfway decent on him. Just throwing out ideas. I don't know if it really will be, but it's, you know. Uh, let's see. Almost have enough for Luton's Echo, and you know the movement speed will be really helpful on him. He's really about um, getting, uh, you know, being very mobile. So I'm gonna try to double kill them here. Gotta get my revenge on Fiddle. Yeah, I need sustain. Oh, 
because he's he really has to kind of get in the fight a little bit. Take he's gonna take some damage. Unless you're just really good and really mobile. And plus, I'm I'm trying to solo this, so I mean, if my team was actually helping me, I might not have to take as much damage. Not quit until it's right. Alrighty. This is how we say hello in Zon. I'll get him. Welcome to Zon. Don't blink. Oh crap, oh crap. Now I'm gonna die. Oh man. Your team has destroyed a turret. I'll go ahead and get my boots. I'll be significantly faster now. Oh no. He's dead. He's dead. She's dead. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I got this. Back to square seven. Square seven. That is awesome. I don't know if you heard that quote. Back to square seven. That is great. So apparently, Zil uh, uh, Echo has a special line of Zillion ults him or saves him. So I kind of want to like do that. Oh, I'm so fast. Oh, yeah. That was pretty awesome, you gotta admit. I hate being responsible. I didn't know I was gonna be actually Echo would be this easy to use. Uh, so I should have made all of uh, my teammates beginner bot. Time doesn't heal all. But that's okay. Most of them are. I want to try this guy in the jungle. Somebody got a kill other than me? Holy crap. Holy moly. Come on, come at me, bro. Oh! Man, Lich Bane combined with that third stack. And I didn't even have to use, I didn't even use my E. That was without my bonus E. Think about how much that would have done. Pro tip, buy Lich Bane. Also, uh, attack speed might be slightly beneficial. I might get a Nashor's Tooth. You ready for this? Ah, uh, shoot, I didn't need to use that. I thought Fiddlesticks was going to go after me. So I'll get Rabidons. I'm gonna 
go ahead and get a blue here. An ally has been slain. Okay, here we go. 4v1, 5v1, I'm doing it. If I had my ult, that would be a lot better. I'm screwed. If I had had my ult, I would have got a Pinsa there. I guarantee it. Because I would have just baited at them out so that they would uh, come to where my uh, our, um, ult was following me. Thrown my W down, then ulted in, stunned all of them, murdered their faces. Because my ult will do a ton right now. It could kill. It, it would ha it probably more than half health most of them. Um. So yeah. I'm kind of sad now though. That could have been a penta if I just had my ult. What do I want? Where is it? The Nash's tooth. Zon is the future. Okay, let's see. We can get a possibly penta if somebody decides to show up. Okay, come on, somebody else sh needs to show up. Holy moly. Come on, there you are, there you are, there you are. I quit. I'm so mad. That in Italy. And that's that, I think that's one of the main problems, is I don't have sustain. Don't have sustain. Also, Rod of Ages might not be terrible. I don't know, he's not really... I mean, he needs to be a little bit tankier, I think, because I'm dying really easily right now. Maybe it's just because I suck, but... Um, so I'm going to try this out. I don't know if it's going to be good. If I can find it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hextech Gunblade. Unless I want to get a Will of Ancients. 20 spell band. But I think I'd rather get this. My past have a way of I don't like this in Italy. No, the CC! Dude, I hit flash like 50 times. There's too much crowd control. That Alistar. What is Karthus doing? He's literally just standing there. Man, I was doing so well. I can't take all of them though. This this is what happens when you have three beginner bots on your team and the enemy team is all enemy bots. You just have to do everything on your own. Let's not do that again. You know, I'm gonna get where is it? Let's do this. Charge. Finally, about time. I owe them nothing. Let's see if I can sell low dragon. I bet I can.
I doubt I can actually stun it. Okay, one... Okay. So here's what I want to try. Okay. I wanted to see how much... I'll, I'll show you this again. This is going to be Lich Bane combined with my E combined with the third stack. This is how much this does. Yeah. Seriously. That's what you got to try to do to have the most burst. Try to get two stacks off if you can. If you're just trying to whittle down one person, you don't have to worry about it if you're like, in, within 50 people. Um, yeah. That, that works really well. Yeah, your E. Your E does a ton. I love it. What gave me that shield? Oh, hello. Where did the shield come from? Oh, I didn't even read that. I don't even remember reading that. Um, commander Echo enters a sphere. He's detonated, getting a shield that absorbs blah 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 damage for two seconds. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't even read that. That's awesome. That's super useful. Because he ha he can be prone to taking a lot of damage if he just goes in all the way like that. How did I kill her? Whatever. I guess it was my Q. Oh, I love that so much. Oh, come on, that was mine. I think I have enough gold to back now. So what should my last item be? That is the question of the day. I think Zonia's would be really good on him, actually. But I think Nash's Tooth would be good, too. I'm going to try it. I know that Nash's Tooth might not be a big item on him. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm going to try it. Then you'll know whether it's good or not. So you'll decide whether he's not. Also, I don't know how good Hextech Gunblade is going to be. I'm also trying that out. Not on the recommended or anything. Yeah, that gives me a ton of health back. Come on. Aw, oops. Oh well, not worth it at all. But, that's okay. Yeah, that actually, that heals you for a lot. At least as much AP as I have. Heals for 200 plus 30, plus 27 of the damage taken over the last 4 seconds. That's a lot. And in that case, I had taken a lot of damage over the last 4 seconds. So it healed me almost completely.
Come on, Annie. You can do it. Back to going forward. Charge. Progress doesn't belong to one city. Make me repeat myself. That healed me completely because I almost died there. Yeah, that, that's awesome. I love it. In that, in situations like that, it's the best alt in the game, pretty much. But it is situational, so it's not like a Lux alt where you can just use it whenever you feel like it. Go take dragon. I do my own stunts. Okay, so let's go kill some things. I hate myself. I was trying to set up my ult, but it got me killed. Because they have too much CC once again, plus Nidalee does a ton of damage. I'm actually quite, quite surprised that an uh, intermediate bot could get that bad. Uh, okay, time to go redeem myself. Pentakill, let's go. I feel like Zonia's would have been really good, though. I don't really want to sell anything. Okay, I'm going to try selling Hextech Gunblade. Get Zonia's. I'll let you know if it's good. I guess you'll just watch and find out. It's. I'm probably going to actually like it better than... Lichbane, or not Lichbane, whatever I got. Yeah, you definitely want Lichbane, that's like his core item. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, give me someone else, give me someone else. I want to kill somebody. If you know what I mean. Oh man, I didn't... whatever. There we go. 
Yeah, I think I think the problem is just that I haven't really learned him yet. I'm kind of I'm not really playing him correctly. There is a very very specific thing stuff you have to do. You just have to wait for the right moment and such. When you actually start playing games, your teams it should be helping you out a lot. Uh, that worked out well. Yeah, Fiddlesticks is annoying. Yeah, as you can see, now I'm already almost full health thanks to Hex Second Blade. So I think I think really, even though it's not on the recommended, it should be on the recommended. You're gonna need some sustain. I definitely can't take Baron though, so don't even ask. Man, that does a lot. Holy crap, what did all that damage to me? I hate these people. This fiddlestick is all fiddlesticks right now. Fiddlesticks in Italy, I'd say. There's just, they're just it's just a CC. Fiddlesticks is fear lasts like three seconds. That's not that's not even exaggerating. It literally lasts for like three seconds. Come on, Annie. Don't fail miserably. You're gonna die, aren't you, Annie? So yeah, it turns out Zonia is definitely kind of essential on him. Which Bane's essential, Luden's Echo is essential, and Rabadon. I, I guess Luden's Echo might be essential. It's not, I wouldn't say essential, but it's pretty good. Rabadon's obviously essential. And then uh, for your, for this, whatever this last item you want is up to you, really. I think Hextech Gunblade only because the sustain is quite useful. Not in team fights. it's pretty much useless in team fights. Although it does kind of work well with Zolt. Um... But uh, it's it's useful when you take a little bit of too much damage. You can get yourself up back to health, uh, full health, without you know going all the way back. And you know uh, he definitely has his weaknesses. That's for sure. But he, if you know what you're doing. He has quite a few advantages too. I think he's very fun. I think he's one of the more fun champions to use. I think his ult is really uh, going to be fun trying to learn how to use to the best possible way. He has so much tankiness. Oh no, Carthus, please don't hurt me. Okay. Tomorrow's the last of my words. I love using his E because it just after on the third stack with Lift Bane does so much. Come here, Tristana. Not quit until it's right. Who's going to
come on. There we go. Yep, just waiting for that alt to get in the right place. Why does Alistar always try to fight me? Oh! Why did I even ignite him? I didn't expect that much damage. Yeah, I'll go ahead and end this soon. Seventy three kills. Holy crap, I don't understand why can fiddlesticks have that long of a fear. I think that's a little long. You can shut down one target so easily. Italy hasn't even been an issue anymore, it's just fiddlesticks. Not sure what Rise is doing. Being a beginner bot, I suppose. That that fiddle here has to be the longest form of CC in the game. I really wanted Zillion to hold me sometime, but he's never around. And he's actually Zillion is the intermediate bot, so I don't know why he's never around. And I don't know what he's doing now. What just happened? I think there are bugs or something there is something wrong with the bots. Second first time for everything. If there are limits, <laughs> found the net. Okay, time to uh, go kill a dragon. I hate being responsible. Oops, why did I? I didn't see that. Oh, I just realized Zol has no uh, mana cost. No! Stop it, fiddlesticks! I'd never have a chance to use Zonia's because of this fiddlesticks. I'm going to murder this fiddlestick so hard now. Pro tip, if you're up against fiddlesticks, you should probably get some, what is it called? Tenacity. But I'm not going to, because I'm too lazy. Oh, now I have to wait forever to get back up.
also something might be beneficial instead of getting one of these items you might want a guardian angel if you're you know carrying with 74 kills you might want a guardian angel so you don't get focused mistakes and make nothing at all. It is time to kill their team and then end this. Patience. Once and for all. What's that? The enemy's inhibitor is respawning soon. You know, theoretically you don't have to use Zalt for the damage. You know, you could just try to get a bunch of damage, then even if you take a bunch, you can heal it all back up. I'm gonna try to whittle them down a little bit. Finally, die. Please die already. Where are they going? Wow. Oh, everybody's dead except Carthus. Time to end this. Oh, hello, Carthus. I kind of want to kill Fiddlesticks one more time. But my team might not let me. I can kill it one more time. Okay, time to end this. GG. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, please like it. And if you want to see more cool team gaming stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Also, if there's a champion that you really want to see me play, just say something in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.